mandatory masks aside, the coronavirus wasn't able to prevent the 15th World Press Cartoon Awards from happening in Caldas de Arena in Portugal. An exhibition with the prominent theme of defending the freedom of the press and freedom of expression, as highlighted by the German Frank Hoffmann, who won the grand prize with a caricature of Boris Johnson. The current pressure on cartoonists is something that worries Frank. It is really a problem that um, newspapers um, um, print um, um, more and, or less and less um, 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 satire, um, cartoons, caricatures. It is all about um, freedom, freedom of um, speech and um, and um, if the newspapers ignore um, this, and um, then we have a really, really big, big problem. Like most award systems, this year's WPC event looks at work done during 2019, a year in which cartoonists in several countries were particularly targeted by censorship. The pressure on the freedom of the press creates a climate that isn't, in fact, good for cartoons. Several cartoonists were fired, others censored, others arrested or exiled. I think that those who like freedom can only like cartoons, and so we have to conduct that struggle. And bringing the public along with us is our challenge. As well as challenges to the freedom of the press, the 280 entries chosen from a 1,000 submissions cover other major global issues. The climate crisis, the migration crisis and the trade war between the United States and China. This cartoon talks about the rise of China, something that deeply troubles the Americans who've always had an empire and privileged position. Some countries, mainly in Latin America, are paying the bill for that dispute all the time. The side effects are being felt in less privileged countries. The WPCs questioned the growing dependence on social media networks, considered by many as spreaders of fake news. For the first time, the awards, though, have accepted works published on the internet and not just on paper. This includes the caricature of the president of the European Central Bank. In a concern for the printed press, newspapers as we traditionally know them, it's true that there are continually fewer publications. So for those who like drawing, making cartoons and caricatures, it's increasingly necessary to use these kinds of platforms and then we can reach everywhere. Inaugurated immediately after the award ceremony, the World Press Cartoon Exhibition will open to the public at the Centro Cultural ED Congresos das Caldas da Reina until November the 15th. The fervent hope is that things will be back to normal for next year's ceremony and exhibition. Initially set for last May, the 2020 edition of the World Press Cartoon Awards had to be postponed by five months until September because of the pandemic. It's an uninvited guest, but one that will certainly have a place of honour and will star amongst the cartoons presented in the 2021 edition.